it too. Now then, Mr. Nigel, are you uh, you might not recognise him as he's got shorter hair. The uh, shorter hair is a good indication that it's getting warmer. Um, also, the fact that we've got short sleeved t shirts on um, and the weather has been fantastic. Now, we are currently still in the land of the gods and uh, we are heading over to uh, the Lake District as usual. Um, Nigel said um, that he finally wanted to go up the old man, so I thought, game on. He actually meant the old man of Coniston, so um, that's where we're heading. And uh, tonight we're going to be uh, wild camping at Seathwaite Tarn and then having a good old wander around um, the, the mountain uh, all day tomorrow. Nice early start to get the, the elevation done without the, uh, the sun beating down on us. And then maybe meeting up with uh, Mark, who's the Geordie guy, afraid of wildlife but likes a pie. Um, and also Marie, who's the uh, the red-haired lady that looks like uh, the cartoon character out of Brave. Uh, but only time will tell on that one because it's quite a big mountain. And uh, yeah, the sun's out. If it stays out, we're, we're in for a good old time. Um, we've got sunblock and everything, which is a bit different from wearing 30 odd layers, which we have been doing in days of past, haven't we? Uh, snow camping and what have you. But you know, you do the hard work in the winter, so you've got the confidence in the summer. Oh, so much it's April, isn't it? Um, right, enough talking, let's get... Right, moment of truth. Wow, that's interesting. That's nine and a half. Is it? Yeah. This is because Nigel's got water. Nigel doesn't usually carry water, do you, Nigel? Half a litre. Yeah, I'm rubbish you are. Well. I'm about I'm heavy. Am I heavier than you, Stephen? Well, only in, only in respect to the bag, mate. I'm coming in just under nine, I think. You're about the same weight. Oh no, eight and a half. Yeah. You're a little bit lighter than me. Oh. How do you feel for the first time ever? Smug. <laughs> Alright, crack on, let's go. This is uh, probably about 10 or 15 minutes into the walk. Um, Nigel's planned all this, uh, Googled it. And it sounded like some of the comments in the car, he actually drove here via Google as well. Is that true, Nigel? Yeah, street map. Yeah. Yeah. brilliant for finding uh, locations out. So, um, Bing Maps is brilliant as well. I have to make a shout out for Bing Maps. Shout out to Bing Maps. Yeah. You're so cool. He's got audience survey. Yeah, So you yeah. can go from audience survey to road maps to... Um, Aerial photography, yeah. all in one click of a button in the area, so you can see exactly. You can plan everything, find good spots. The really the video clip coming up this road. I've never been up here before. Very nice. Why are we going down a hill, Nigel? I'm just looking at that. Yeah. Should be going up, not down. That's fine. This is a quarry. Yeah, we go down a little bit there. Yeah. And then back swing up oh, Come on there. Right. Unless it's a false summit, there's been a few. Nope, there's water. 
and that is Seathwaite Tarn. And that was a very, very nice, pleasant little climb. Yeah, just on the other side of that dam. about two and a half hour walk to the end of there. Your route times are well off then, aren't they? So it's overestimated, which what? is a better than being as underestimated and being in a rush and struggling. Sit rep, it's 10 to 9, still light. We're looking for where to pitch up, are we, pal? Yeah. Um, you'd thought about the bottom end of the tarn, but from what we've walked through already, it's boggy. Uh, and if anywhere it's going to be boggy, that looks like it's going to be it. So I've just suggested there's um, a little sort of rock edge there and it looks to be flattish. So we're heading down there to see what that's like. Beautiful. A further three minutes and uh, it doesn't look like we're going to have to go as far. I can, hear, I can hear the bog. It doesn't look like, doesn't look like we're going to have to go as far. Um, we're right next to the water. What do you reckon, pal? Yeah. Right, we found home. That'll do, won't it, mate? Heads will be back up here. It's a little bit that way, but we'll, we'll slip So somewhere. back in at tan, uh, back in at tarn that way. Yeah, that's that way. So looking out into the town. Fair play. Right. Nice view. Let's set up then. Uh, we had a we had a brew, didn't we? Um, clear sky, can't show you it again. Sorry about that. I stood out there for far too long, like I always do, don't I? Yeah, you've chilled down a bit, haven't you? Um, yeah, it, yeah. I, I've got cold, to be fair. Uh, using the summer sleeping bag, I haven't brought any. I I chose not to bring merino wool base layers. I'll be all right. Um, I've got the big jackets if I need it. Um, so yeah, it's about half tenish, and. Uh, yeah, looking forward to tomorrow. Get up there, get on uh, on top of the old man. Um, map's coming out tomorrow, and um, I've got quite a lot of things that I need to to do, um, which I will show you as I'm doing them. Things that I've been meaning to do, and um, I've promised myself to improve my map work, get my map out, and get the compass out and use that. So that's what's going to happen, and I hope that I can sleep with all the excitement of the map and compass work in the morning. Uh, porridge for breakfast, a couple of coffees, uh, drop this kit and uh, get as high as we can before and if the sun comes out. Um, we might even pop, yeah, we, we don't want to catch the sun, so we might even put the, uh, the, the tarp back up um, during the you know, highest point of the sun tomorrow just to get out of the sun and uh, have a brew or whatever. That's all in the morning. Morning folks. That's our pitch last night. Um, it was great. We, we both had our heads you know up the the top end of the slight slope the trail star moved no more than it's moving at the moment uh, great very peaceful slept really well the the sun is about to hit us so i'm going to uh, try and capture that 
and we've got the we've got the hot water on for uh, coffees and porridge not a bad start to the day We evolved. Uh, morning coffee with uh, with Nigel. I um, I saw another uh, YouTuber, Bearded Bushcraft, and he used a uh, a little cotton uh, coffee sack, and uh, he kindly sent me the uh, the eBay listing. So I've got ten coffee sacks. Nigel, uh, I gave Nigel some coffee sack. He enjoyed a nice coffee with me. Then I went away with Ian, and uh, very similar sketch. We both enjoyed the fresh coffee now when I was packing for this particular trip um, Lily my partner in crime said everything's ready and coffee's in your coffee cup so I've actually bought a different cup one of my little foldy jobbers because I don't need a insulated one in the warmer climates so I went to this uh, insulated coffee cup and there were sachets of coffee instead of the little white sacks which obviously were supposed to be reusable. Now, Lily didn't get the memo about them being reusable. So there's 10 more coming from eBay, and that's why I've got to drink the old style coffee and not be the evolved coffee intellect, which we were last time, Nigel, which was a lot nicer than this, wasn't it? It was. Yeah, so thanks, Lee. Appreciate that. Right, that's us packed all the way and there's absolutely no sign that we were here and I'm fairly sure that Mr. Uh, farm Helper Person or Farmer will be up here to uh, have a look um, yeah there's no trace it's exactly as it should be so now we're heading to the bottom of the tarn and where the shadow's coming in basically on the, the other side of this ridge line is like a, a bowl shape and somewhere over there um, we know that Mark was camping last night and um, whether we bump into him on our travels today, only time will tell. But that's where we're heading. Um, I said yesterday that I wanted to do a bit more map work today. And where we are now, I mean, obviously there's the town in the background where we camped. And the map showed disused uh, quarry workings, mine workings. So we've been looking as we're coming along. And this is the first sort of sign over here of actual... Uh, quarry spoils so you see the little the smaller stones and then we've just spotted these a wall work i mean this is a lovely flat pitch as well that could have been last night's camp couldn't it i was about to say this but it'll is, be rocky this is the perfect yeah because it's sitting under all this spoil yeah and then this we've would have been the perfect spot this is the but we would have got here in dark though this is the doorway uh, so the mine entrance is under here somewhere so there's walls at either side, man-made. Don't know what they were mining for, but that's what it was. Um, so we've ticked that box. We've we've scrutinised the map. We've we know where we are. We're not, you know, we we aren't at that far into an adventure to be lost. But now we're trying to pick out our ascent route. So this second crag on the left looks like it's got a, a path going up it, and at the moment that's our favourite choice. We're hoping that we can. Uh, get water from that at the top as opposed to taking the water up the extra weight so we're going to assess that we've got to get from this side of the valley across these two streams to that path um, and then we're up and this is where all along here this is where we want to be today um, and we've just seen two trail runners and um, yeah that's that's where we are at the moment so map work is going well Oh, yes, me hat as well, new thing. Comment if you like. 